So, for the first time ever, I'm really happy with my throw from the throw bag. Okay, so it's pretty cold here. I'm on the ranch in Oklahoma. Um, I'm using something from Curious Deals. 9 to 1 Unun. I've never used this before. I don't have a counterpoise. I'm just going to see what happens. It's a long wire. I'm going to hook my antenna to this. Okay, so I just made a... Oops, I just shouldn't have dropped it like that. A bad habit. Um, so I just took a really good throw. I'm really happy with it. I almost feel like I'm lucky. So I'm going to take the antenna and slant it up. This is a really long antenna. Something I would say is lacking on this would be a way to hook to it. So I use two zip ties, just for now, to find something to hook like that. So now I can put the tension on it and it will go up. See? Let's keep raising Oh no! So I'm tied off around this little boy here. You see, here's my throw line, the other end of it. Went over the tree, up into this tree, and... See my antenna? I could go another 15 feet. But, I'm all stretched out right now. Here's the backstory. It is really cold. It's about 10 degrees. I forgot the power cord on this trip. So I had to go get one of these multi-power cord things with a, with a multi-size uh, for the input. And I'm trying out the Curious Deals antenna. It's super cold. It's only like 10 degrees, so I'm not going to be able to do this very much. But this is my first test ever hitting tune. Here we go. Sorry, that's wrong one. Look at that, tuned right up. 1 to 0. A lot of sound here. Now I wouldn't want to be on a metal table. I wouldn't want to be so close to the house, but like I said, it's so cold that I'm not going to be able to do much out here. I'm going to go up to 14.0 something. Listen, it's New Year's, New Year's Eve right now, by the way. Middle of the afternoon. I'm on CW. Don't hear anything yet. Wow, it's cold. Ouch. Band. Let's go down to 30. Gave up on that idea of trying to work outside. It's not going to happen. So, I thought, kind of looked around and thought, you know, this is a good thing about being portable. I'm on the road. I found a little tiny hole in our screen in my old bedroom I had as a kid. I put that there. I bet you anything I put that there and I don't remember why. So what I did was I re-threw the rope up there. I'm still using, I'm going to try this stealth long wire antenna for 40 meters. Boy it is stealth because you can just barely see it. I got there pretty good man. This thin, this thin rope is really good for Thin twine is good for sliding through the trees. So much easier without leaves. Okay, so we are now back in my uh, bedroom that I ran the wire through. This is the other side of that. You see I had to open the screen here, go up, bring this up and run it through here. Now, uh, the problem with this is there's lots of uh, metal all over the place. You know, this is the best I can do. I I'm nice and warm though. Check this out. This lamp, it's one of those lamps that you touch and it turns on. That's so cool, right? I like that. Watch this. I'm going to turn the antenna tuner on. It turns the lamp off. If I hit it again, it goes to the next stage. I don't know what it's doing, but it's touching the lamp, but it's, it's turning it off. <laughs> okay, so I did hear somebody already. I hit tune, I was able to tune up perfectly. Question is, can I make a contact? But it's so nice to be in 75 degree temperatures inside instead of outside where it's freezing cold. I'm not hearing much activity, but I did hear someone. He just faded out. See the CW?
Check this out. When I key. So it looks like um, I'm going to have to unplug that light. <laughs> Pico paddle. So I realized something whenever I try to go over five watts, roughly it will fail because I'm using this power supply. I forgot my I forgot my power supply wire so I ran out and got this um, variable thing and it goes up to 12 volts and if you try to push out at 12 volts if you try to push out more than 5 watts it shuts down. Let's see if it does it right now. See? I just tried to key over 5 volts and it quits. Over 5 watts. I tried to key over 5 watts. So I'm going to bring it down to 4.4. So I'm stuck at 4.4 tonight. See? Probably one of the few people you talk to who actually know where your county is. This out. I don't know if you can see it, but 10116. So I go to the reverse beacon network on my phone. Am I getting out? Check it out. 10116 in 9 yo. All these people are hearing me. Oh, and guess what? The 31st of December. And 18, 17 words per minute. That's about right. I've been kind of messing around with it, but... Zero decibels? How did you hear me? Three decibels? Eleven decibels? Twenty decibels? Wow! Who heard me at twenty? WA7LNW? Will this tell me where in the nation this is? Trying to figure out where I'm being heard. Um, I'm using about four watts. Jack Reed, WA7, Utah. Wow. Well, I'm pointed towards the south, kind of. My um, antenna is pointed towards the southwest. So you, I'm in northeast Oklahoma. So it would be almost perpendicular to the antenna. Cool. Cool, Jack Reed is hearing me very well. Awesome. Okay, it's getting later on New Year's Eve. Got some weird coding going on here. Amp, brew, amp. Bruce. Fine business. Icom. Listen to how low that tone is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Happy New Year's, everyone. I can't. I can't even do one watt now. Watch this. The second I hit my key, well, the second I hit tune, it powers off. I think there's just not enough power. At 40 meters, for some reason, it doesn't. At 
I only have 12, uh, 12 volts going into this. If I hit tune, it won't tune. I don't know why. If I hit tune, it'll just quit. So if I hit try to key, it's not tune. So I'll try to go down to like point, point 0.1 watt tune. Nope. It's like not enough power to run the tuner. It's just so far out of tune is what I think. You need more than 12, 12 watts. 12 volts. I'm sorry, 12 volts. Let's see who's out on New Year's Eve. It's about 7 p.m. Central Time, Oklahoma. Very little activity. Either that or a terrible antenna. Yeah, I don't expect much in, uh, activity, but... So if I try to key, I'm so... My SWR is too high. Well, actually it isn't. One watt. 7030. I'm going to go check uh, Reverse Beacon Network here soon and see if I'm getting out at 1 watt. Hi. Let me see your hat. Happy New Year. Not yet. Look at that pretty girl. You're on YouTube. At least 300 people are going to see you. Maybe thousands. I'm fine with that. Cause Happy I'm New Year. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, so you told me somewhere in your room, you wrote... So while we're here, um, kind of tooling around, messing around on New Year's, um, we were at the casino, but my kid's up, so I thought, well, you know, we'll give her a little treat. All right, this was in my mom's house, and I'm like, what the hell is this? She does a lot of garage selling and thrift store stuff. This is what I call my next good luck charm. This, I found on the bottom, says Coco Joe's Made in Hawaii with Lava. And it says it there on the little inscription, Lava by Coco Joe's. Don't know what it is. It's funny, but it's my new luck, good luck charm. Um, and Lava, I guess it's black. It's kind of hard to see, but I, I, we played Scrabble, and I said, this is my good luck charm. All right, now, this is kind of funny. I told you that this is uh, my room, my child, my childhood room. Not really childhood, but I was in my teens and stuff. 12 to maybe 18. On November November 8th, 1988, I wrote VOTE. And I'm pretty sure that was George Bush Sr. being elected. I didn't know anything about politics back then. Yeah, I just thought, I just remember coming over here and write 11 8 88, VOTE. Now, why is it the 8th? Was that, isn't it the 6th? Anyway, if you go back and look, it's probably the day that he was elected. I'm pretty sure that's George Bush Sr. Now, I also wrote 7 16 89. Why? What happened on that date? I have no idea. I don't even remember. I don't remember writing that. 89. I think that's 89. It's either 99 or 89. I'm going to go back and look, but I definitely remember writing that in 1988. I wrote that. Isn't that funny?